what is this soundtrack? <laughs> it's like 99% of their budget. <sighs> What the hell hey. happened? We're supposed to be planning this birthday party together. Plan? You are unbelievable. You're unbelievable. You think this party's just gonna organize itself. No, no, no. We need to set a course of action. A course of action? Buy a vegetable plate. Put out vegetable plate. A vegetable plate? That's it? Yeah. No, we need to pick music, alcohol, decorations, oh, deviled eggs. Oh, decorations? Yeah. Like what? Pin the tail on the donkey? We're adults, Ben. Nobody decorates anymore. I decorate anymore. I like it. It's festive. Is this what you've been doing for the past four years? Having decorated parties? Is that it? Okay, fine. We will get you decorations. No. We need a theme. <laughs> what a theme? We decide on a theme and then we decorate to support that theme. Have you never had a party before, Anne? I know what a theme is. Okay, let's find you a theme so that then we can watch this movie. No dinosaurs. I don't know how helpful I'm gonna be. I mean, the only themes I know are like space and cowboys. Well, I did space last year. Oh so. my God, this is the best gift you've ever given me. Did space last year, can't do it again. All right, how about lasagna? What? Lasagna, it's a food, you eat it. A food is not a theme. Sure it is. We have a lasagna, we eat the lasagna, the theme is eating lasagna. No. Actually, I had a thought. Of course you did. Seeing as it's been such a crazy election year, what if the theme was presidents? Like, American presidents? Yeah. Dude, I don't know anything about presidents. What? Like, nothing. How do you not know anything about presidents? I just don't care. Oh, you're blowing my mind right now. I mean, there are no chicks in that mess. How am I supposed to relate? Deep. And the whole thing seems so bogged down in dual party politics that nothing ever changes, at least not within our lifetime. You have an awful lot of opinions about this for somebody who doesn't care about presidents. Well, I care about why I don't care. No, that doesn't make any sense. You love these sweeping socio-political dramas. Yep. Okay, so it's not as if you don't like politics as a concept. Like, theoretical politics. Like, Jamie Lannister should have absolutely ruled Westeros. He had military experience, and he also had a very level political head, Cersei excluded, but even that is mitigated by the end of the last book. So fictional rulers you care about? Mm-hmm. Who was the president during Watergate? No idea, don't care, but I did find Bartley pretty insufferable. I mean, <laughs> how much liberalism do I really need crammed down my throat? Same era, right? This is a horrifying character trait you're revealing. Okay, easy one. New Deal president. James K. Polk. How do you even know that name? Why do you know that name? I think he's hot. Polk? Mexico stealing Polk. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how do you steal a country? Actually, you know what? That's an interesting story because he's a Texas. You know, I will say, Merck and Muffley. Something to be said about think first, act later. Who the hell is Merck and Muffley? Dr. Strangelove. Or what about Morgan Freeman? Nope. Harrison Ford, Air Force One. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? I don't know that you should just kill people without any sort of due process, but you have to admire the guy's courage. Mm. How about Rosalind? You like BSG? I mean, she's got political and military problems that she navigates pretty well. Ooh, fictional president party. Ooh, I don't hmm, think I want to encourage this. Fuck you. That doesn't mean I agree. Yeah, it does. <laughs>